Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Green Bay Packers and their 38-3 blowout. Let's get into this video. So first for most, I'm just going to quickly glass over Aaron Rodgers because he had a horrendous day today. I'm going to see how much and how he did. Alright, so down here we got uh, pretty much the two quarterbacks. So I posted the video already, but Aaron Rodgers didn't get benched today at the end of the game for rookie quarterback Jordan Love. Now, a lot of people think he's not a rookie because it's the second year. But then again, the NFL rulebook does state that the guy is on his rookie contract deal. So yeah, so technically he's not a rookie because it's year two. But he is on a rookie contract deal. So he's technically in NFL terms still a rookie to them. So Aaron Rodgers was 15 or 28 and he threw 133 yards and two interceptions are uh, one to Marcus Williams of the Saints and then let me see what the second one was real quick. The uh, second interception he threw was to some guy named Paulison Adabu. He picked off Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he's also a rookie. So, that's actually pretty special because Aaron Rodgers didn't throw much picks to anyone, pretty much. So, yeah, Aaron Rodgers was super bad, and he sort of played a game like, um, maybe I won out of Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, I mean, not Aaron Rodgers, uh, obviously Jordan Love came in. He was 5 from 7, 68 yards. Obviously a better completion percentage because he only played for a little while. Uh, but, yeah. I mean, hold on. Let me see if I can find a quick video of Aaron Rodgers and show you guys how bad he was. Some of the balls he threw, I can tell you, was just absolute prayers. No, not to the Bucks, the Saints. Alright, so this is Aaron Rodgers' interception. This is my content, so I ain't gonna take credit for this, but this is basically, I mean, look at this. So, this is what I like to call an absolute prayer that there was no attended target. So, he gets ready to throw. He's backing up. His throwing emotion might be off because he's literally backing up and throwing. So, so he gets ready to throw. Obviously. Look. There is... I'm going to be down here. Look. Who's over here? He is throwing the ball almost directly into Marcus Williams. The other Packers players are guarded, like, really well to the point that I don't think you can blame it on Aaron Rodgers. I think he was just trying to throw a absolute prayer and see if someone would come up with it. But, I mean, there is no Packers player in this facility. So it makes it look easy because this defense literally guarded Devontae Adams and basically was guarding him like he was just a rug. That was getting stepped all over. I mean, Aaron Rodgers might have had a bad day, but their offense was crap. Like, none of, none of their, not, this team just didn't want to play, I don't think. They weren't ready for the heat. And then obviously Marcus Williams just runs and cuts it right off at the last second. So, yeah, that's one of the interceptions. I don't know if it will show the second. Yeah, and then that's a return. He had a return about 20 yards there. If you've seen the game, you're pretty sure you probably know. And obviously they're celebrating because it's the Saints defense. And the Saints defense is always great. And obviously the announcers are like it's a desperation because obviously that's basically what it is. I mean, they're going to highlight it. They're going to probably go over it. So Marcus Williams is just cuts the route off perfectly. 
obviously Devonte Adams is yeah. Devonte Adams had nowhere to go. I mean, he didn't have any shot of getting away. Now, I mean, I mean, would it be? Let me go back somewhere. Now, I don't know if this would be pass interference, but I've seen certain penalties be called pass interference like this. I don't know if it would be fair or not, but he is getting held. So a flag could have been thrown, but I think the refs made a good uh, decision to keep in their pockets. And this is basically, to me, hand fighting. But then again, this gets called a lot because the refs see a hand. And they don't know that it's just one person. I mean, it's just two people fighting. So the refs could easily mistake this and call the flag. So that's how it is. And then as you see, Marcus Williams, nowhere in the facility, just cuts the ball off and gets the interception. So yeah, so I mean, there's nothing really to talk about. I mean, I don't know about the Packers run game. Let's get into that. So I the Packers run game didn't fare any better. Their top runner was actually, I think their second string, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Their second string rookie had the most rushing yards on this team. Their rookie, Aaron Jones, had five carries and nine yards. So he was basically as productive as, as let's say, uh, Frank Gore is productive on a daily basis. Which Frank Gore gets 4.4 a carry on a bad Jets team. I know, edge, I mean, you don't have to do with it. Frank Gore is really good. Just, you can't compare Aaron Jones' bad day to any sort of, like, reason. Because his run game wasn't just a bad day. It was just a poor effort from the team. But when your second string uh, rookie is doing better than your starting running back... And when Randall Cobb rushes for almost nearly better average than your starting running back, your team ain't good and you're in trouble. So, I mean, the Green Bay Packers, horrendous day. This is how it went. That's my review. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.